Earlier in your career, you were quoted as saying that uh, Laurence Olivier was your, your idol. You wanted to work with him and work like him. Why? Well, I think that many of the reasons are obvious. He's, uh, he's one of the greatest actors in modern history. Uh, he's incredibly diverse. He's incredibly serious about his work. Uh, I mean, I, how can I expound upon the, what, the perfect? <laughs> right, what makes a great actor a great actor, then? Well, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, the fact that he is now the age that he is in his, in his 70s and uh, still working, still uh, maintaining a uh, relatively high level of, of performance, I would say that uh, his, his past works speak for themselves. He's, uh, he's a genius. You didn't have any scenes on though, did you, in Clash of the Titans? I had one scene. I had one scene I filmed with him. It doesn't really appear in the film as though we're working together, but we did film one scene together. Huh. Which one is that? Uh, well, it's when he's speaking to me from this apparition in a, in a shield. It's a <laughs> stupid. But, oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, I, we, we played it together, and uh, then they used his segment in the apparition. Right. Let's go to Making Love. What scene in Making Love do you think is the key to your character, to understanding your character? Well, I would say that, that not a scene in specific, but the, the editorial close-ups, which uh, actually take place after the narrative is finished, those sequences are most demonstrative of the real Bart McGuire. Uh, I, in, during the film, I always have a, uh, a veneer, a nice uh, suit of armor that I'm wearing, which is protective, which keeps me distant from Michael, which keeps me um, free from commitment. And you see the real character really developing in those, in those close-ups. When you were shooting those scenes, who were you supposed to be talking to? The audience, uh, a psychiatrist, who? Who were they addressed to? Well, we split it, really. I mean, it, um, the way I played it, a couple of them talking to Kate uh, in, a, in an interview that I was having with her later. Really? I played a couple of them talking to a psychiatrist. And a couple of them were directed just toward the audience. So That's, uh, that's what's going on in your head, you yeah. mean? Mm -hmm. But there wasn't anything in the <coughs> script to indicate to whom no. they were addressed? No, no, they were, uh, it was up to us. Huh. And it seems to me it must be more difficult to talk that way into the camera or to the audience or whatever without having any feedback directly. That's so? Uh, it is difficult. Arthur, though, was very good about that. Arthur, uh, Arthur served as my audience in some cases, and he would throw questions to me whenever it got, because it is quite difficult to uh, just be looking directly into a camera with nothing out there at all. Uh, Arthur was very helpful. Okay. Let's talk about the difference between what might have been in the original script and what we see now on film in terms of those sequences where you talk to the camera. Were they in the script in that sequence, this piece here and this piece here, or were they cut in that way later on and you were surprised to see where they fit? Well, in the main, they e exist in the film where they were uh, originally in the script. In some cases, though, they have been moved around. Uh -huh. And it was surprising, but I think they made the right choices uh, when, they, when they did change them, they made the right choices, absolutely. Uh -huh. Do you think in those uh, speeches to the camera that Bart is beginning to weaken, that uh, he's beginning to think maybe he needs a commitment now? Well, I don't think weaken is exactly right. I think that he, uh, he senses that he's more vulnerable than he would like to be, okay. and he allows Good his word. vulnerability right. to to come out. Mm -hmm. um, he's more sensitized in those than he was during the narrative. It, supposedly a number of uh, actors were unwilling to play in this film for whatever their reasons. Why were you willing to? Well, I... Uh, I mean, there are a lot of reasons why I, I liked the script. The, the, the script is, is marvelous. It's a, it's a wonderful contemporary story. It's very true and very honest. As far as the homosexuality goes, I don't personally uh, fear it, and I don't feel that there's a stigma attached to it as there was maybe 20 years ago. Now, I think uh, as an actor, I have to be, uh, I have to be careful to, to get involved in real stories. and not be too cautious about the subject matter. If I was always worried about uh, whether or not I would be identified with a, a drug addict or a banker, murderer, plumber, whatever, you know, then, then I might go Greek, Greek become hero. Greek hero. Exactly. <laughs> I would be schizophrenic after a while. So uh -huh. I, no, I, I have to take, take a film based upon 
my first gut impression of it. How do you feel about the uh, remarks leveled against the film that it makes the whole thing seem too easy and pretty, that uh, Zach doesn't have a very difficult time of it, and Bart is extremely likable and wonderful? And well, uh, uh, there will be a lot of criticism because one, one can't please everybody. We had to take a tack. We had to stick with it. We had to uh, go with our, our first decisions about how to approach this story. Um, if we had made a story in which the, uh, the characters were uh, more depressed and, uh, and not as sugar-coated, in, in which it was too difficult, the criticism might have been, uh, this is the same old story, depressed homosexuals uh, trying to live out their fantasies. What we wanted to do was do something a little different. We wanted to show pe that people were happy, they were content, there was the possibility for happiness here uh, and, and fulfillment, which there is. And, and uh, I mean, some I've, I've heard some people even go so far as to say, uh, "Show me, show me a happy homosexual, and you show me a dead homosexual." Yeah, yeah I mean, joke, yeah. yeah, but but th this is not the case. Okay. Did you do uh, the bar scene in order to act those scenes out? Did you mean did I research? Go yeah. to the bar? I did. I went to uh, to several bars, and I, I went to the the bar in which the scene was filmed the night before the uh, the shooting. And I met a guy there and, and uh, allowed him to pick me up just, just to see how the logistics Is were. And, right? uh, and uh, finally I had to come to him and say, I'm, I'm terribly sorry and I don't mean to be rude, but I'm researching film. <laughs> his, uh, his reaction to that was peculiar. He just looked at me and said, you know how many times I've heard that in this bar? And I, I guess that's true. I mean, uh, since then I hear that people go into these bars and they, and they, uh, they say they're looking for a matchbook or they need money for the meter, parking meter or whatever. And uh, hmm. I don't know. I, mean, I, I was very hard for me to convince him at first that I was really an actor. Something came up, though, and, and he, uh, he finally believed me. Well, the research paid off. It's a really fine performance. Thank, Thank you, you for doing the interview here. Thank you. My pleasure. Mine, too. Give me your signal. <laughs> oh, you don't want that one? Yeah. No.